Welcome, everybody, back to Boost in Motion, guys. Listen, y'all have to watch this. If y'all want to get an M3, M4 right now, I think this is the time to buy it. Guys, let's hit that intro. Welcome, everybody, back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Welcome everybody back. First thing, I got to say this straight on video. Shout out to my Boost Emotion family. You guys have been really showing y'all support. And I really hope this video was actually very informative to you guys because I know y'all are part of the Infinity Gang. But let's talk about these BMWs real quick, right? We need to. Just hear me out. Watch this video. We're going to talk about prices. And I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion, right? And also, if you've been, if you're new to this channel, definitely watch this video. I make informative videos, talk about different stuff. I'm also a car modifier like you. I'm into the car world like you. It is what it is. I'm a fellow enthusiast. But anyway, let's go. Let's talk about it. So, well, some of my followers ended up getting into BMW gang. I get it. I understand it. I personally like the G80 because of what it can do. Yes. But let's talk about F80 and F82s. This is 2015 and up M3s, and I think 2015 up uh, M4s. At the end of the day, you guys talk your nonsense, but this is still an M car, and it's a dope car. But I saw something that stood out to me, right? So take a look at the price trends, right? We're now looking at the M3 price trends. And I picked the 2015, the 2018, and I just picked those two trends. And I saw this, 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 this price, and it blew my mind. I said... Oh, look like the 2015s are around mid $40,000 range, but they are decreasing within the last year. Most people still say they may not be able to afford this car for $45,000, right? Cool. I get it. Boost, I don't want that car. I still want a Red Sport. It's like $25,000, $30,000. I'm going to get that car. But wait, there's more. So let me just show you guys something that stood out to me, right? First thing, matter of fact, I want to make it fair. Let's go to 23 years ago. What is a natural depreciation curve for this um, M3? So technically, three years ago in 2019 of November, this car was going for about $41,000 and depreciating. Now it is at $45,000. And I bet you there's a lot more headway in front of us, and you guys don't even know. And I'm going to show you guys why. Let's stop the screen share, and let's go look at, some prices depending on mileage for the 2015 m3s and it was shocking to me i was shocked let's go let's just jump into it so let's go to an m3s i've already put the price at the lowest because not everybody's going to go get the lowest mileage because you think bmw high mileage is not reliable what i gotta tell you guys is this the S55 motor is a very reliable motor. We're not comparing it to an N55 or an N54. The S55 is a really reliable motor with the exception of the crank hub issue. But after that, this car is pretty freaking dope. And no, I'm not trying to say boost, you get into an F80. Remember, I looked into this car two, three years ago and I chose to not do so. But even then, I have a video, hopefully I put the link up above, where I was actually shopping at M3s and seeing which one more affordable to purchase over like, let's say, uh, a Q50 or a Q60. And even then, the prices were in the high 30s, and that's 20 to, uh, two to three years ago. So quickly look, the, high, the lowest price right now, if you want a high mileage M3 sedan, is 124,000 miles. Some of y'all sit there and think, why would you buy an M3 with 125,000 miles? It must be unreliable. These cars are actually pretty freaking reliable, and if it's been taken care of enough, it runs really well. And you're getting an M car for thirty thousand dollars. I'm gonna throw this out there. There's a hundred thousand mile Q50s, VR30s, going for about the same price. What would you rather buy? A VR30 Q50 with th with for thirty thousand dollars with with eighty ninety thousand miles? Or close to a, or pretty much a hundred VR30 2016, or get a 2015 BMW M3 
which I got to be honest with you guys, it is the better car and it is more reliable. I'm just being honest. And the headway above it is so, so much more. Let's just look a little bit, guys. Let's look a little bit. Then we can see that the prices start to fluctuate up a little higher. And then we see that's a $40,000 car pretty soon. So you can get between the high, uh, before you get to hundred grand, you'll you'll be close to the high th uh, th uh, 30s. And it's also for 2015. And this is just applying to the 2015s. If you go to 2016s, the mileage would actually start going down a little bit, but the price would be right around the same. So you can get some newer years in the mid to low 30s with lower mileage. It's It actually exists. And I just want to actually bring that up to you guys' attention because I know some of y'all are still looking to purchase like a Q50 Red Sport 2018 with low mileage for like almost $40,000. And if you like that car, I get it. But I think right now, if you wanted to get into an M car, an M3, or even a C63, or even an Audi RS cars, a lot of them, depending on these years, the mid-20-teens, they're a lot more affordable than what you think, and they've been hit with depreciation already. I'm going to say it on video. If you got like a 2015 M3 with 85,000 miles, these cars have pretty much already hit their bottom depreciation. And why am I saying that? Because if you go to the 2018, let's go to the V8 M3s, right? That's 2008 to like 20, what, 2013, right? Those are the V8 models, right? These cars can be, let's go look at the high, the lowest mileage version, right? Lowest mileage. I'm doing this all on video because I want to talk my nonsense. The lowest mileage versions, look how inflated the V8 prices are on these cars. These cars exploded. Um, during the last two, three years. But people are more and more wanting to purchase the V8s because if they have super low mileage, look, 20, 15,000, well, there's no price listed. Um, I want something that's actually a little bit more, I, I want low mileage here, not these weird nonsense that's going on in, over here. All right, let me go off of price. Um, highest, highest price first. Makes it a little easier. Cool. So the highest price is 94000 76000 People are actually, this is the advertised prices and people are actually paying some of these prices. But let's go to something a little bit more normal, right? Cool. Low, this one's 61000 with 28,000 miles. Um, this one, 51000 with 32000 People are still purchasing this V8 car with the rod bearing issues or the main bearing issues they have knowing this and i've noticed in the bmw market every older m car goes through some inflated stage where the prices start going up because it's just a thing that happens people want to own these cars they really do and to see a 2013 going for 45 for forty thousand dollars is insane but let's flip it let's go to the lowest price first right we have 200,000 almost 200,000 miles going for 16 here and they still saying that's above market so there are some high mileage examples out here for about $20,000 with over 100 grand on it you can choose to purchase these older V8s or some of these V8s they they exist this 2011 is a drop top with 100,000 miles out of Houston Texas so it kind of lets you know that when I talk about the idea of depreciation Depending on the example you get, the price is going to be very skewed on the V8s. And I see that happening with the F80s really soon because they did it with um, the E46s, the M3 before these ones. The same thing happened with their inflated prices. So I think if you can get a low mileage example with a specific spec M3, F80, F82, and in the next two to three years, if you do hold on to it, you may never lose any value on it because I think people are going to want to choose to purchase it. Also, I would still throw out there that people may still be looking for the manual version of the F80, F82s too, because usually they're probably a lot more rare to find. But that transmission is pretty good, so they probably will be perfectly fine with the transmission. But nonetheless, this is just me 
bring an alarm about something that I noticed that I get, I noticed this in an infinity video, but I'm all about getting cars that don't depreciate that much or that you may not lose value out of it. And you get to drive it for a while and then sell it for about the same price. Like just imagine if you could buy that, an F80 for $40,000, drive it for like a year and then like sell it for 36. I mean, you drove it for a year for only like four grand, you know, or a year and a half. Like you can, and you got to drive this car and it wasn't, you know, you pretty much didn't lose too much money on it. And I think that's the biggest thing. And with Q50s, I love them, but they're going to, they're really depreciating again, just like the F80s. I'm being honest with you. But I think tonight now, depending on the type of cars you got, because you guys end up getting an F80 anyway, this might be the time to you guys actually jump in an F80 for a relatively good price. And if you're going to keep it for a couple of years and change that rod, that crank hub, um, you may have a car, really good car, um, for the next two, three years that may not lose any value. Outside of that, guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for banging with your boy, Boost. You already know what to do. Add me at BoostMotion.g, Facebook, and I have a, a, a email at BoostMotion.gmail.com. Otherwise, night, guys, you have a good day. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.